Hi there, this is Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to Peter's Kitchen. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You caught me tying up my apron and he's got the short strings instead of the ones that come across the front. Oh, look, I got for Christmas a gift. And, uh, an apron with my name, Peter's Kitchen. Now the only problem that I see with this wonderful, lovely, beautiful Christmas present is they got Peter's right up here and Kitchen is um, down uh, where it doesn't belong. <laughs> it's not where I would put the word Kitchen. <laughs> I would put Kitchen up here and put Peter, ne never mind, let's not go there. I guess whoever designed this wasn't thinking that it should be Peter's Kitchen here. And you don't put kitchen, well, I don't, well, I guess you could say you're cooking down there, but what can I tell you? All right, so we are going to make today um, my mother's signature or one of her signature desserts. You know when you go someplace and you, in, or, or you're invited or something, you're just known for a certain dessert that you bring over and over and over and over and over and over <laughs> okay so my mom used to bring rice pudding uh, and she's got this long hard way to make rice pudding you use a stove you use fire you use kettles well we're going to make rice pudding today with my new recipe that i've redesigned around her old recipe and figured out how to make it amazing amazing and when i say amazing i mean what is really a better than never mind okay so we're going to use the instant pot and with the instant pot we're going to make easy rice pudding but easy rice pudding does not mean eh meh meh you know we're gonna we're talking about rice pudding that knocks your socks off now there's different types and there's a different taste for each person uh, sometimes there's raisins in it, which you can do with this recipe. And sometimes it's got an aftertaste that people like. Uh, but this is creamy, white, just like a, a beautiful crystal clear note that someone sings, this beautiful girl that can sing a gorgeous note, or this guy and they say he sings like an angel, uh, you know, all that type of thing. Uh, you know, so we're going to make the angelic rice pudding okay it's going to be done in the instant pot and the most work on this is the waiting time <laughs> all right so now i do have a second camera rolling hello are you up there can you catch me hello everybody this is my hands this is the instant pot nice and clean as you can see and yes i rinsed it out so we're going to start by it's going to get cooked twice that's the secret to using the instant pot so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to bring in a cup of rice and there's a big argument or discussion as to whether this rice should be washed or unwashed well whose show is this oh it's my show so it's not gonna be washed it's gonna go right in so we put in one cup one cup of rice and i'm gonna put in two cups of filtered water yep there's a filter on this sink actually it's a three cartridge filter so we got to use nice clean water so we got two cups of water and there is a few secrets that's going on here and the secrets are the sequence the sequence is going to change things so I'm going to stir around the rice so it's just not all piled up in one spot okay now, if you were making regular white rice, you would do everything that I just did up to now. You would add salt and you would put your uh, instant pot up to three or four minutes. Uh, this is a new instant pot or newish. You like the wrap that I, I bought and put on here. It says peace, joy, Merry Christmas and so on and so forth. So uh, I have it set for three minutes because I'm going to cook it twice. And that's the secret to this world amazing excellent rice pudding all right so there is one more secret you're not going to put the sugar in the rice pudding later you're going to put one and one quarter to one third cup i usually go to the one and one third because 
I like things on the sweet side. And I'm going to stir in the sugar. Now this is no longer rice you can serve for dinner because this would be sweet rice. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stir this around just to make sure the, right, the sugar is evenly distributed and the rice is evenly distributed. I just use regular rice, by the way. I heard what you were saying. You know, I heard you say, oh, you need to wash the rice. Get your own show and wash your rice. I've tried it both ways, honestly, and not joking around seriously, and I couldn't tell much of a difference. So I don't bother rice, uh, washing the rice. So now I'm going to put this cover on, close it, make sure we're in the pressure position, and this is going to get cooked. I have it set for three minutes, and it's going to be 100% natural release which means I will not release it prematurely and I will not open this cover up again until it's the, the pressure is completely off. That should take about 20 minutes. But you don't have to stand here and watch it unless you're, you know, um, <laughs> that type of person. <laughs> you have to watch every single minute that goes on. And when I come back, I'll try to remember how many minutes it was before we uh, have a natural release. And after we have a natural release, we're going to uh, kind of put in the rest of the stuff. So I'll be back when the rice is cooked, fully cooked. And the only difference between this and regular white rice is that I've added the sugar now. So why did I add the sugar now? Stay tuned. I'll tell you in 20 minutes. <laughs> waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, <laughs> the pin dropped. I heard it go click. Now you wouldn't do this, okay? You would set it and go do something and come back. So it was the original three minutes. And after that, we did a completely natural release. And we're gonna put this back on. So I'm just gonna put it over here. All right, so this is the rice. And I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit. Round and round we go. To me, it looks a little too wet. So I probably added maybe a touch too much water, but that's okay because we're making rice pudding. But if this was regular rice, I would probably put it back in for another two minutes, which means you'd put the top on, close it, put it two minutes, and then set it and forget it. All right, so now I stirred that around. Now we're going to add the secret to this rice pudding is I have really juggled up the ingredients in the order that they're going in. So now at this point, uh, all I'm going to do is add the milk. So this is two cups of whole milk. And what the heck? Here's another two cups of whole milk. And what the heck? Here's a cup of heavy cream. Oh, you mean you're not even using half and half? No, I am using heavy cream and I'm pouring the heavy cream nice and slow for dramatic effect, but you can pour it in at any speed you like. Sorry for the jokes, guys. We just went through Christmas. We just went through New Year's. So I'm in a happy mood. So now I'm going to stir this up. The rice is inside. Let's check and see. That's all I'm going to add. I'm just going to add the two cups and then two cups. What's two and two? Can you tell me what two and two is? Is two and two. And when you put it all together, you get four. You got to keep your, your thumb. So I'm just stirring this up now. And then I am going to run this through again, just like the first time. So now that means I can go and vacuum the floor. I can wash the dishes, I can go mow the lawn, and I'm not going to do any of that, actually. Okay, this is on nice and tight. This is proper. Okay, we're going to cancel over here. And this is the Ultra. I bought the Ultra, the first one I bought for $119 because it was on sale from $149. And then I have a second one, which is sitting over there. And I put the wrap on that one in green. This one's in red. And let's start because I'm wasting time. <laughs> okay. And that one was only $79. So now they're averaging between 100 and 110. So you don't need the Ultra uh, exactly. 
Uh, I bought it because it will also do sous vide, which is a completely different type of cooking. So let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that from? The Brady Bunch or something? Okay, so I'm going to put these on that side. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the eggs and the vanilla. And uh, I'll tell you when we get to that part. So that's all. All I had to do was come in and add four cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream, because it's going to be creamy, guys. It's going to be nice and thick and puddingy and creamy. And then after that, we're going to do the last part. And boom, rice pudding is done. If you want warm, delicious rice pudding, you'll eat it then. If you want it cold, you're going to take the Instant Pot out of the Instant Pot. You're going to take the stainless steel pot, and you're going to to the refrigerator and put it in there until it gets cold. All right, I'll be back probably for me 23 minutes. For you, it'll be like, like you never went to sleep. Be right back. Waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, the pin just popped down. It means I can open this, but you always have to be careful when you're opening uh, the Instant Pot lid because there could be pressure in there. So you could actually see, and that tells you that there is no pressure. So we've done a 100% natural release, and it is 43 minutes. It's a lot longer than the first time, right? Well, that's because we're dealing with four cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream. And they were pretty close to room temperature, So, but it had to bring that all the way up to temperature, and then, bring it down. Let me put this on this side. I don't want that water in the Instant Pot. Okay, like, oh, ho, ho, look at what this looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do now is stir this around and get it up. I have an overhead camera going, so at some point along the way, I will trigger that on so that you can see what's going on in here. How gorgeous that looks. Plump, full rice. Not like that store-bought stuff where you only get little chips of rice. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get the eggs. I'm gonna put the eggs over here. And it's four eggs, it's four whole eggs. And they're kind of like room temperature. I got uh, all of this stuff prepared uh, before I made the video so that I uh, kind of look cool, right? <laughs> I had the milk over here. I had a cup of heavy, heavy cream here. I had the sugar here. And where did I have the rice? I had a cup of rice. And then I added two cups of water. So now I got four eggs. Okay, so we don't want to scramble these eggs, and I have done that, okay? Believe it or not, I have <laughs> scrambled the eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of the ladles from my silicone ladle set. And I'm going to get a nice scoop, which will probably drip. So I'm going to make an attempt to not drip, but I will probably wind up dripping anyway. So I'm going to stir and slowly pour in the rice pudding and bringing the eggs up to temperature. If you just pour this in or do it too fast, boom, you've got yourself scrambled eggs, baby. <laughs> really, a very uh, uh, luxurious, delicious form of scrambled eggs. So you got to stir the rice pudding in nice and slow. And then we're going to pour all of the eggs into the um, Instant Pot. This is good for any electric pressure cooker, by the way. Uh, I had two different brands, or I still do, uh, before I bought the Instant Pot. So you're not limited to just using the Instant Pot. So I'm going to wipe the bottom there, and I'm going to get me another nice, nice full of the hot rice pudding. And I'm going to slowly, ever so slowly, stir this in. And then when I've got both of these scoops in here, or ladles, the right word is ladles. When I have both of them in here, then we're going to pour this right back into the uh, rice pudding. And this is what's going to thicken up 
uh, the rice pudding, but it's pretty thick now. Okay, so we've got that done. I should have had a plate here. Let's see, a professional cook would have had a plate. But this is just Peter's kitchen. So I'm just stirring this. I could see the rice. And this is quite warm now, so be careful, guys. Be careful. All right, so now I'm going to very slowly stir this in. And I'm adding four whole large eggs into my rice pudding. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the temperature a bit. And when I say a bit, I mean a teeny weeny little itsy pitsy polka dot bikini uh, bit. I want all the eggs in there. Come on. There we go. Oh, these silicone tools are so cool. Okay, so I'm going to uh, switch, I'm going to cancel here, and I'm going to go to uh, saute. And I'm going to start the saute. Now that means I'm kind of like browning. For most other pressure cookers, they call it browning. And you don't want to burn the bottom, so this is the spot where you got to be really extra careful and keep on stirring. And the very, 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 very first moment you see a bubble in this rice pudding, you immediately turn it off because the temperature keeps rising quite a bit. And then you're done. No, we aren't. We need to add the vanilla. I forgot about the vanilla. Actually, at this point, nope, after I turn the heat off, you put your vanilla in after so you don't want to alter the taste of the vanilla. All right, so this is beginning to heat up. Now, if, whenever I decide to switch it over to the overhead cam, you can see that this pudding has thickened up now. The egg has cooked in the pudding and given us an amazingly delicious and amazingly thick, creamy, real old-fashioned, world's best rice pudding that you're ever going to have. Now, you can add raisins to this at this point. You can add anything that you would uh, like to add. Um, I wanted to put, I have this urge to put the uh, vanilla in. So now I see the steam starting to rise up. So it's starting to give me some heat. Okay, I saw the first bubble. Cancel immediately. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And don't stop stirring for at least a minute until the temperature levels out. Otherwise, you're going to turn the pudding into a liquid and you want a nice, rich, creamy, Ah, that type of response when uh, people eat your pudding. So I haven't seen another bubble. Oh, yes, I still see a bubble. So I'm going to continue stirring. Make sure I got it off. I, I hit the cancel button. That's how I turned it off. You can actually also reach over to where the plug is and pull the plug, which is a great way <laughs> to stop anything from going on. But there's a heating element down there. And the heating element, guess what happens? The heating element gets hot. So you don't want uh, to burn the bottom. You don't want brown chips in your rice pudding. And you don't want to change the consistency of the pudding to become liquefied again. You want to keep, okay, so there's no more bubbles. Okay, so what happens is I stop and I look. And if it's really, really hot, the pudding will start to simmer. Okay, so I brought it up to temperature, and this pudding is done. So now I'm going to add, contrary to what you think, remember this is my show and my recipe. So I know you've got different thoughts, and you're welcome to put them down in the comments. But I'm putting a whole tablespoon, got to be able to squeeze it out, of vanilla. One full tablespoon of vanilla in here. Up, oh, I'm seeing a bubble. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come. okay, it just dripped out, so I have filled up the tablespoon, and now I'm stirring in a tablespoon of vanilla. So what do you do from here? There's a couple of things you can do that will actually damage the pudding, and that would be to cover it tightly uh, it will actually cause it to liquefy. So you don't want that to happen. And 
the other thing that you could do, uh, or the other thing that will happen, is it's going to cause, uh, it's going to create a skin on the top. You see how thick it's gotten? Wow, that is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. See, I keep stirring. I've gotten the vanilla all the way through. So what I'm going to do is like you would use like a cling wrap, I'm going to lay paper towels over it. I'm going to wait maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then I'm going to put the whole pot in the fridge. Uh, most of us like our rice pudding cold, really cold and creamy. So this rice pudding is actually quite hot right now. I'm going to put a little bit on the plate here. I'm going to thin it out. This would go into, I'm showing my, uh, my other camera. Uh, this would go into a, uh, like a bowl or something. So let's taste this and see. It's really hot, so you've got to be careful. Protect your lips. Protect your lips. Hmm. I must have used spoiled milk or outdated rice because this is absolutely delicious. Rice pudding. Amazing. The most delicious homemade rice pudding you will ever, ever have. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Gregg in Peter's Kitchen. Best rice pudding ever. Let's take a vote. Make it and tell me. Bye-bye. Whoosh.